The Random Jottings of Donald J. in Nelson in Pendle Lancashire Brasham Hall, located in the picturesque borough of Ribble Valley in Lancashire, England, is a Tudor house that has been standing for centuries. The hall is known for its fascinating history, which includes legends of supernatural occurrences and haunting sightings. According to local legend, Brasham Hall is home to the infamous, Screaming Skull. The story goes that the skull belonged to a servant who was murdered in the hall, and his remains were buried in the local churchyard. However, the skull was later exhumed and brought back to the hall by the Parker family, who owned the estate at the time. The legend claims that if the skull is ever removed from the hall, supernatural consequences will ensue. Another eerie tale associated with Brasham Hall is the sighting of a ghost horse that is said to still haunt the estate to this day. The story goes that the horse belonged to a former owner of the hall who, as part of a dare, tried to ride the animal up the stairs of the house. The horse reportedly fell and died, and its ghost is still seen charging up the staircase. The history of Brasham Hall dates back to the 14th century when Edmund Parker was the park keeper of Radham Laund, one of the two great deer parks in the forest of Boland. In 1393, his sons Richard and John became deputy parkers of Radham, but by 1380, they had already secured a lease of the vacary of Brasham. Richard likely built the original house on the site around that time. In 1507, when King Henry Vidas forested Boland, Edmund Parker obtained a copy hold of Nether Brasham and began construction of the present house. The Parker family continued to improve and enlarge the house over the centuries. In the 1600s, Thomas Parker purchased the freehold of Brasham from the Crown and further improved the property. His grandson, Thomas, is believed to have added a formal garden in 1674. In 1728, John Parker inherited the hall and its estates from his father, a linen draper from London. John, his wife Elizabeth, and his daughter Elizabeth moved to live there, and Elizabeth managed the house from the 1740s after her mother died young. When John died in 1797, Thomas Lister Parker took over the Brousham estate and made extensive alterations to the hall including rebuilding the West Wing and adding to the grounds. Over the years, the Parker family displayed their impressive collection of antiquities, pictures, and works of art in the hall. However, Thomas Lister Parker ultimately bankrupted himself and was forced to pass the estate to a cousin. In the 1900s, Robert Goulborn Parker repaired the hall and opened it to the public for guided tours. Today, Brasham Hall is still privately owned, and in 2010, the present owners, Robert Redmond Parker and Amanda Parker, restored the 17th century tithe barn for use as an event space. In 2015, Amanda Parker became the High Sheriff of Lancashire, continuing the long-standing tradition of the Parker family's involvement in the local community. Brasham Hall remains a cherished landmark in Lancashire, attracting visitors from all over the world to learn about its fascinating history and the legends that surround it. By Donald J.